Yeah, Sonic's a real pain. Everyone, anyone who likes Sonic's just... Right, I guess that was a button warmer. I think we're starting here for real. Yep, that was handy. What's a button warmer? That's where you warm up your buttons, dude. You've never done it before? Just making sure. That's why I got the... Yeah. Oh, nice knee. So, so tell us about this matchup, Colby. Um, I can't imagine it's just really weird for Falcon being, you know, outsped by Sonic. Falcon can't do much of his, you know, rundowns that he's accustomed to because Sonic can still run away from them and just wait, you know, for something stupid and then approach. Yeah. Uh, I imagine Falcon can punish Sonic. Oh, pretty hard. really good read for the Ford Smash. But See, the same time, to grab edge there. Falcon's just combo food for any character, and Sonic's no exception. Especially with the up air strings, I imagine Sonic could get on him. Up air strings? Uh, Sonic can string up air. Double jump up air, then spring up air. Dang. Yep, it's pretty nuts. I pretend Sonic's not in the game, but it's hard to it's hard to pretend that when you see him playing. Yep, Sonic's a very hard character to punish, so whenever Frosty gets anything like that, he really has to take it all the way. God. Which, you know, we just started seeing him on bird right now. Yeah, any percent that Frosty takes right now is just, it's going to be bad because it seems like he doesn't have much not to experience here, so he just needs to get this kill and then see what he can do from there. Well, Sonic's just very obnoxious. He can sit right outside any character's, you know, area of effect, for instance, and he'll just rush in whenever you make any mistake. Or the Sonic character can make a mistake and that could happen. Is that a down air kill? I have no idea, actually, what happened. It looked like a downbeat. I think he downbeat off the stage. All right. Frosty's getting something started. Oh, I don't know what that downbeat was. Um, Fax is able to upbeat just out of any combo because that's a one-frame move. So if Frosty's not frame perfect... Frame one? Upbeat? Yep. If Frosty's not frame perfect, Sonic is gone. Oof. Oh, neat? No. No, that, that should have been neat. No, I think he was, he's zoned too high. But Frosty has brought this game back yeah. from a pretty good... Uh, Frosty's really good at adapting, like, mid-game to whatever you're doing. You saw in the beginning, he was kind of clueless as to what to do, but he's really, he's cut he's on. He's really doing well. I know that uh, Frosty's played against Vax at least a few times. We've talked he, about dude, his play style before. Dude, I don't even know who he plays. Like, he just plays everyone. Um, yeah, Vax just goes whoever he wants. He doesn't really care. The side B mix-ups. You want to tell everyone, Colby, the difference between Sonic side and down B? Because... Um, I know that you can attack at side B with a little drag, which can carry fast fallers off stage. Down B can be jump canceled into any aerial. Okay, Down B so side B cannot be uh, jump canceled. No, I don't believe side B can be jump canceled. But you can drag a fast faller like Captain Falcon off stage into a really you know clean edge guard. So mm. Frosty has to watch out for that. It's so cold, Colby. Do you want to try seats? You got like an AC on you? No. Is it Frosty? It's frosty. It's frosty. Oh, it's frosty. frosty in here. Nice. Dang, beautiful. Oh, that day. was really nice. Falcon's uh, side B there. It got a pretty large buff coming from PM to melee. And melee, you know, you'd get beat up pretty hard if you used it and it didn't hit. And even if it did hit, you would hardly get anything off of it. What, does, Cal what does Falcon get off of a grab here in this matchup? You think? I would imagine from a grab, you know, depending on the percentage, he can either up throw or down throw into knee, and that would probably set up for an edge guard situation, which Falcon is really pretty scary if you're fighting him off stage. I mean, you can edgeguard him really well. Up air, up air, up air strings. Oh, those are the up air strings I was talking about earlier, especially down south the spring. <laughs> Sonic's probably going to be looking for a back air right here, or really quick smash decks. Jeez, Frosty, that was nasty with that shield pressure. That nearly broke. Tonight we have a lot of people who aren't so familiar with smash watching, so we just want to make sure they know everything that's going on. Sure. They want to know about those those throw conversions, those combo weights. We know that these girls want to know these things. Nah, I'm mainly looking for the recording, so I'm going to watch this later. <laughs> oh, that was really nice. I don't even know what he did. Dang, there we go, dragging him with the side beat. Yeah, 90% of Sonic's that. moves, he just spins for. I don't even know how to differentiate him. Oh, oh. neutral B. Oh. I, that seems kind of... That back air was really good. Oh, oh. No. Does Sonic have any kind of grab game? Um, Sonic's grab game on Falcon. I think he has a chain grab at low per chain throw at low percents with the uh, up throw, yeah, and also ab here. up throw. He can connect a ton of up airs, especially on fast fallers. Yeah. There it is. Yep. There Sweet. was the up this throw, up anyone's... air, back air. Oh no, never mind. This is looking pretty yeah. rough for Frosty right here. Yeah, right, I he think really Frosty's going to turn it up. Frosty's right. going to counter pick next game if he loses. He's Frosty has to turn it up right now. He's got to go, you know, all in on Vex here if he yeah. wants to win this. But it's just looking pretty. Abysmal right here. Oh, 
Low re grab. Up throw. Oh, up there. Hit the spring. Man, Sonic, Sonic has trouble killing. There we go. Back air. There we go. Clean game one by Fax. Sonic. That was really nice. I saw the low taunt there at the end. Hey, it's okay. No one likes Sonic. That's true. Frosty doesn't like Sonic. No. I think we're going to see the Marth come out here. If he doesn't ban all the small stages... Which, think we'll there are four small stages and only three bans, so I'd be pretty impressed. Yeah, I think we're going to see Frosty's Marth come out here. I, um, it seems like it could be pretty bad for Sonic. I don't know. Just because he died really early to tip forward smash. I mean, it seems pretty volatile. Cause I'd it, be surprised, it, because Sonic really has the speed to just bait out something laggy from Marth and then punish it hard. You know, mm -hmm. and his combo game is really just on point, it seems. So, you know, we'll, we'll see, see what, what, what happens. Did. It could go either way. But Wait, was that your melon water? Your melon water. I was going to steal some of that, but it's empty. Yeah, I don't want to get an STD. I don't know. Can you get an STD from the giant water? Do saliva, can't you? I don't think that'd be it. I don't think I'm having this conversation. <laughs> I don't think that'd be an STD. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get a change. Oh. Link? Oh. Link Mark. This will be interesting. I imagine this matchup runs around even. On a smaller stage, Frosty probably has advantage. Does he have a chain throw? Does he have the chain throw on Link? He seems to have it on pretty much everyone, so I'd be surprised. Yeah, I haven't. Oh, At the very way. least, he can forward throw for smash. Maybe not. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I haven't. He's tried far twice. He hasn't. And the Link has flown way too far each time. Something I'm not really sure about. Um, the side B for uh, Marth, they, they don't connect to each other, right? Oh, the only Roy's do, right? Um, yeah, Marth has a really hard time connecting to side Bs. It's not that they just don't. Do they have any utility at all? Um, it does, but you I have mean, to be besides really for smart. stalling in the air, obviously. Um, I believe the third one hit down has a spike hitbox, which can you know throw some people off. But uh, it's really underutilized, you know, and Dang. for good reason. Fax really, really seems to know what he's doing here. Yeah, Fax has been going in today. We've seen him play on stream the last three games, and he's just not missed a beat. Except for when he was playing Sneak, but everyone misses a beat. <laughs> yeah. It was Fax playing Sneak, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Alright, we're sure. He lost. Um, it's loser semi, so whoever goes this is going to get guaranteed third loser's finals. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Guaranteed they're, they're in for the money, like the two dollars or whatever they'll make. Yeah, um, around 42 entrants, two bucks each, 10% of that. I'll let y'all do the math. No, I can't do math. Should be around eight bucks, I think. Which is pretty good for a two dollar land, taller entry fee. That's a 400% increase, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing out all the numbers. Oh, oh smash. No. no. I was really you expecting can't that guy. Yeah. No, I don't think he's, he's not making that back. All right. This is still pretty even right now. He just needs one strong hit. Ooh. Go. Second in force match. He read that roll, I think. Yeah. All right, just I don't know what that was. Around. All right. Fax, yeah. Fax really likes to throw out the uppies on stage as Link. He gets. Yeah. He likes to get near the stage and just. I really like disagree with that. The uppies really good later on, but early, you know, you're just going to be punished even if you do hit. I don't know. I with think very few of them have seemed to hit. It has to do with how familiar your opponent is with fighting Link. Because if you're not really familiar, it's just going to catch you off guard. It's a, it's a really good mix-up option on shield. Um, up the ass shield is amazing for removing pressure, but I imagine Frosty kind of already knows about it. You know, ooh, there we go, up the ass shield. That wasn't that shield, that was that attack. Oh, oh, he caught him through the shield. Forward smash. That was nice. And oh, all right, we've got an even game. Last talk. Even game. First game of loser semis. Oh. Both these characters can space each other out really well. Game, Link with yeah. his projectiles, Marth with that crazy temper sword. Link's kind of going in right now. Fax is... Oh. Right, that was smart, using the boomerang to cover his recovery. Keep uh, Frosty at bay for the moment. Actually, Frosty is looking for that force. There, there it is. There we go, there it is. Fourth the voice match. All right, we're all tied up, one to one. All right, losers finals here. Fighting for at least third place. Colby, I think we're being gypped for our viewers because all those all of them are watching it from one little phone <laughs> man we could we could have our viewership increased like a hundredfold if all any of you are looking over your friend's shoulder watching this you just need to stop you have to go download this on your phone or on your computer do whatever you have to do watch it somewhere else yeah we're looking at you bella morgan taylor all right game 
Wait, no, loser no. semis? What? Loser semis. Yeah. Alright. So, okay, Frosty wants right, to get Frosty's going back with the Falcon. Yeah, my bad. For some reason, I don't know. I got big. He's not fighting the Sonic anymore, though, so we'll see how this works. I don't really know anything about this matchup. You want to give us some information, Colby? Um, I imagine Falcon can run in around Link's projectiles. You know, Link's going to try and box him out, but I imagine Falcon's speed allows him to just maneuver around, and we just saw it there where he jumped over the boomerang into the knee. Um, I can't imagine, you know, Falcon can actually combo Link as well as most other characters, you know, but... That was really interesting. You see him get a first hit a jab at the up air. Thing. Oh, Frosty was looking for the down air. That would just hit him on stage. It was so set up a pretty big tech chase situation. Oh, we're just kidding, by the way. If you share no, the Twitch not. viewership, then that's perfectly okay. We here at Tech are open to all kinds of viewership. Even though we don't go to Tech. No. Nope. Hence the same sex oh. bathrooms. What? Can we tell me about those earlier? Don't know same sex bathrooms here? <laughs> they were uh, lobbying for them. Yeah, those stupid Christian conservatives won't let men and women... Oh, that was a good knee by Frosty. That was a really bathroom. nice follow-up. Right. If you don't mind me not talking about the same-sex bathrooms, <laughs> talking about the match. <laughs> All right, Frosty here, up a stock. Can you jump after that bottle? Is it best of five? Um, um, loser semis is best of three. Ooh. This is game three. Frosty All right, that was the... I don't want to say comeback. That I was think, something. Well, I think Frosty needed. was trying to go low to avoid the uh, up B because that has a semi spike hitbox on it after the first frame. So I think Frosty was just trying to play it safe and went a little bit too low. Mm, really nice down there, down there, back air. It gets oh, okay. back dead. This is Frosty's, yeah, this Frosty's, is Frosty's looking game to lose right now. Or win. So Fax is looking for Yeah, these are two of our best players here at Tech, so. Whoever loses is out. Two of our best consistent players. That's why somebody has to beat Sneak, because he's not even from around here. He's not? Where's, where's Sneak comes? Uh, he doesn't come out enough. Um, I think he's from around Leesville. That was really good. Good games. Two good games. Out.